I'm Arlene Cummins, a retired missionary nurse, a friend of the Pattisons for almost 60 years, and the adopted auntie of their girls. I met Ken and Shirley at Brian Bible College. When they got married and began a family, I enjoyed visiting them on the farm. I was impressed with how ca calm and capable Shirley was as a farmer's wife and mother of four young girls. She maintained a clean home, sewed clothes for the girls, froze and canned produce from their garden, played piano for the church, and took part in community events. Always busy. And Ken taught the girls about farm life, including how to do chores. During my missionary years in Kenya, when I returned for short breaks between terms, I made it a priority to visit Ken and Shirley and their girls. We shared stories and jokes, and when Ken laughed, he would just throw back his head and let her rip. I learned Swahili while in Kenya, but Ken and Shirley seemed to have a different farm vocabulary when they talked about spuds, flopper to the mat, and gum boot it. In December 2006, Ken and Shirley and Charlene and family came to visit me in Kenya for six weeks. What a highlight that was for me. I've been to visit Ken and Shirley and their close-knit extended family more often since returning home in 2009. I saw how Ken and Shirley raised their daughters, their four daughters, to be hard workers, capable, resilient, responsible, godly women, each with her own personality, strengths, and gifts. They, like their parents, are also hospitable and generous, which is a real credit to Ken and Shirley. Each time I went to the farm, I always felt right at home. Shirley always took time to work on a jigsaw puzzle with me, or just to sit and listen out on the back deck or in the living room in the evening after Ken had gone to bed. And she wasn't quick to give advice, but just listened. In spite of several medical issues which affected her ability to play the piano, bake like she used to, and walk without a walker, I never heard Shirley complain or show self-pity. She amazed me with her positive, practical attitude of just getting on with it and taking things as they came. And Ken was so supportive and caring for Shirley when he built handrails uh, and also raised garden boxes for her and even curled her hair. Both Ken and Shirley loved their daughters, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. They were keenly aware of each of their personalities and interests. Shirley loved to do things with them that were suited to each one's interests or buy special things she knew they would like. Ken was a very gifted and skilled craftsman, especially with wood. He enjoyed make, making simple projects in the shop with the kids when they were younger and by following instructions on YouTube, made beautiful hope chests and individually styled jewelry boxes for Shirley, their daughters and granddaughters. They are so lovely. In fact, this past June, he even gave me one of his wooden bowls, which I will always treasure. I find it hard to believe Ken and Shirley have left us, but I do know they are now at home at peace in their heavenly home with Jesus.